Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. In today's video, I want to show you a quick scalping strategy that you can do uh, you can do even if you're a beginner. This strategy is very simple if you just follow my direction or my instruction. So it's a very simple strategy and I'm ready to show you that you can start using this strategy immediately after you watch this video. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get down into the video. So our scalping strategy has three rules. Let me say three rules because every strategy has some rules or has some uh yeah so these are instructions for this strategy so number one we are using five minute time frame so don't use this strategy on four hour or on one hour kindly use it on five minute time frame the second thing we are using 50 and 8 ema ema means exponential moving average so use either you can use any moving average it is still work but for me i love exponential moving average so we are using 50 and 8 ema and then the last thing we are targeting 30 pips in this strategy we are just here to target 30 pips why because we want to be in the market and outside and out of the market as quick as possible so guys if you have the three things with you, we can start the video. So this is our chart. This is what you do. You open uh, the pair that you want. This is our GBP Audi, and this is our five minutes chart. So this is what happened uh, yesterday from, yesterday was 8th of, 8, 8 of April, and this is what happened. This is like what the market behaved, how the market behaved. I will mark that and then you can remember we said in our in our we said in our rules that we will use 50 EMA and 8 EMA. So you just come here to the indicators, click indicators, uh search moving average, search moving average, and then you will get the moving average exponential. Just click two, two times because you want 50 and you want eight. So first of all, go to the settings. Uh, just highlight for the settings, click the settings, the first one, let it be 50, and then the 50 can be red in color, so make it red, and then make it bold, so our 50 is red in color, and then come again, settings, then uh, inputs, you put 8, remember we are working with 8 and 50, and then the style, the it can be blue in color so let's make this blue so let's make this blue and then we make it bold so we can make this there's this blue i like that one so i don't know if it's blue or purple whichever color you want so that it can be so visible so guys this uh this is the first thing that you want to put in your chart go to the indicators put your two moving average and uh, Put your two moving average and you're good to go so that's what uh that's what is required in this uh in this strategy after that now we want to start highlighting our key zones so as you can see this market it was a very simple market let's see let's see so this is the highest of the of the day so you just mark that's the highest of the price because even if we can come back that's where the price has gone the highest so what do we what are we looking first of all we are looking for two things we are looking for weakness of either buyers or sellers you know when you are scalping you are not like buyers i'm on the i'm on the seller side or i'm on the buyer side no your eyes should be open on either way you can be a buyer you can be a seller any opportunity is good for you so when you're a scalper or when you want to scalp, you're not like, oh, this market will buy, oh, this market will sell. You are neutral, like you are just waiting for an opportunity. So 
The reason why this is 5:40, who those people who yeah, who are in Kenya, this is 5:40 a.m. Those people who ask me why do you trade in the morning, because the market starts moving in the morning. So this is 5:40. So for that person who woke up early in the morning, that this is the situation they saw. So the sellers started at taking this market down. So you can see clearly the market is going down. So don't trade, don't trade the market. So what you can do, you just come here and say this is our highest of the day just put high like that so let's uh reduce this to 40 or not 14 like 20 24 so just put high of the day and then we can put this blue or yeah or purple or red so just put that is the highest of the day that's my highest of the day and then now when the sellers come down you will now try to say higher this is where the, the sellers it's like they have tried to push the market this is the lowest of the day so you'll just put the low you'll just put high and low so the sellers they have really tried to push the market but they have come to this low so your question is when the buyers try to come in what will happen remember our 50 our 50 and 8 moving average is there for a confluence of a greater like it wants to show us after our analysis because you have to have like three things you cannot trade moving average on its own so this is the highest this is the lowest and then buyers started it's like a consolidation of sorts so at this moment buyers are not able to push this market all the way to create a high high guys when buyers are weak in the market your friend is sellers when sellers are weak in the market your friend is buyers so these buyers were given opportunity let's say let we can try and check how many like they were trying to push the market one hour ten minutes but they were unable and as you can see all this confusion buyers trying to push the market what happened eight moving average crossed below 50 moving average so guys if you saw that if you saw this crossover all you do is target come here take a short position so at this moment you already know it has crossed over the buyers are becoming weak you're just waiting for a huge momentum candle to tell you that there is an indication so your entry should be at this point and then now your stop loss is just above this high you can take this high so we have said we are targeting 30 pips so 30 pips let's see how many 30 pips from here to here we are just targeting 30 pips so that's our target guys within no time within no time our our target was hit so this is a way to show you that you can scalp using Sim, uh, just using 8 moving average and 50 moving average but you have to have something else that is supporting the cross below or cross above so let's uh, do um, an upward trend so this is what happened you know after the market the best thing with, with the market even after it drops it reaches a place it will start going up so this is what the market was doing it came to a place and it is started to consolidate so the first uh the first zone was this so the market came here uh it was unable it was unable for quite a time let me uh check how long for almost three hours 25 minutes but it broke that place again it went came uh created another zone in the market you need to be patient remember now we don't want to sell this market because it has been going down for a whole day so this market now was consolidating not like consolidating it was creating a zone going moving up uh, just with few pips and then coming back to the same zone so the reason why i tell people that you it's good to trade early in the morning at this moment at this point this point it's around 3 a.m so at 3 a.m that's when there was this double bottom so again in this moving average crossover you will 
try to incorporate other things that you have learned. So don't think that you'll come, you see just moving average crossover and you don't have other information. If you knew that this is a double bottom, you knew the price had come to this key zone, you are anticipating for it to come here, you'll be preparing to buy this market. So our, our indication was this crossover. You can see the market crossed at this point. So the market, the market crossed, uh, the moving average, the eight moving average crossed above, giving us an indication of a strong sell, a strong buy. So what we would have done is uh, enter this market at this point. So we come here, look for a, a long position where it has crossed, and then our stop loss is just below that low. And then we are targeting how many pips? 30 pips. So we're just targeting 30 pips. So 30 pips is somewhere there. Guess what? Within no time, within no time, your take profit has been hit and the market has continued going up. So guys, I think this is one of the best strategies for anyone who is beginning if you don't have any strategy use this one and it will really help you because you can see that uh you need you just need to know when they are crossing over but you need another confluence don't trade the crossover the cross below or above alone so when the atma crosses above you have a buy when the atma crosses below you have a sell that is very simple trade. You can just get 30 pips. And remember, it can be applied to all the pairs. But first practice, because some pairs, it is more um, more accurate than the other. So this is something I have seen. It is working. But remember, every strategy, it has to have more than one confluences. And in this case, for this case, we had two. We had uh, a double bottom. And then our... Um, and then uh, here, the reason why we entered buy is because it created a low high. You see, these buyers were, they didn't have more momentum to create, to push the market to create a high high. So it was an obvious, uh, an, an, an obvious way to show you that the buyers have been defeated. And in the, in the process, the moving average crossed below. So guys, this is it. Kindly try this strategy, use AC EMA, 50 EMA crossover, and also try to uh, incorporate other confluences, price action, double bottom, double top, W formation, all these kind of uh, things so that your trades can be as accurate as possible. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I thank you and I hope you have gotten something from this video. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly consider subscribing. Until next time, bye-bye. Love you.